Something awesome arrived in the mail today. This bad boy. I have a bit of a unique problem. I'm going to Cayman next year and need a computer to be able to edit on. The problem is in Cayman everything is expensive. So instead of trying to buy a PC or laptop there, I've had to look in South Africa for one. And I think I've found one. Get a free game, bag, gaming headset, mouse. This is the main event. Ooh. This is the biggest battery charger I've ever seen in my life. Bear with me because it's about to get a bit nerdy. This is an Asus or Asus, depending on where you're from, laptop. It is a Republic of Gamers laptop. It is very heavy. Uh, a solid 4 kgs. This thing is really powerful and will only really run if I'm using it at its maximum capacity for about an hour, which is not a real laptop. So essentially I will be using this like a PC. It is a fourth generation R7 which can clock up to 3.6 gigahertz. It has 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 256 gig SSD with a one terabyte hard drive and very important for video editing it spins at 7200 RPM. It has a 17.3 inch HD display and this is the important part for me it's a GeForce GTX 970M which is basically like the second highest you can get in a laptop at the moment. There is another one higher but for me it didn't have have enough performance to warrant the extra price. The great thing with this laptop is that it is upgradable so if at a later stage I wanted to get more RAM I could get more RAM. The core I went with the fourth generation. There is a newer version of this laptop with the new sixth generation but when they've benchmarked against it sometimes this one has actually come out on top of the sixth generation. So I went with the fourth tried and tested version. All that jargon is going to mean nothing to most people. Essentially for video editing what you need is a good core CPU, which as I said the fourth generation R7 is pretty good and it's even beating out the sixth generation in some benchmark tests. At least 8 gigs of RAM, I've got 16 and it's upgradable for more at a later stage if you need it, and a really good graphics card. This GTX 970M should be more than enough at the present point for what I want to do with it, which is edit HD video and hopefully in the future a bit of 4K but we'll see how that goes. Some questions which I'm anticipating, why don't you buy a MacBook? Well a MacBook for something which comes close to these specs but actually not really is double the price and so as much as I love Apple and I love their products and I think they're beautiful it's just way too much money for something that's going to perform lower than something that's half the price. Why not get a PC? PCs are so much more powerful. Again, in Cayman the prices are just so expensive. Trying to transport a PC from South Africa to Cayman is just going to be a nightmare. So I'd rather just have something that's nice and portable, but still powerful. I actually sent the specs of this laptop off to somebody in Cayman and they quoted me again double the price of this laptop to put a PC together with the same specs. So, not worth it. I think I've done a good thing. My bank balance doesn't think so, but... Hopefully this will mean some more great videos. I'll get to continue with my passion in Cayman. I hope you enjoyed me opening the most expensive thing I've ever bought and justifying it to you. As always, you're welcome.